I have gathered 10 of your favorite tips and tricks for new macOS 26. One of the first new thing you will notice after updating to macOS 26 will be the App Launcher. It was redesigned and integrated into a Spotlight. You may find it in the usual place, just next to Finder. Now it's not called Launchpad anymore, it's just Apps. And the icons are a bit different. If you click on that, you may notice it's not in the full screen like before. We got floating window we can drag around. We can see all of the apps here. At the top right corner, we got those three dots when we can change the view from grid to list and we can also enable iPhone apps to be shown here. So then when you click on that app, it will link to your iPhone and display this app straight on your laptop screen. So that's great. Design is a bit different, but we can scale it a bit down. We can make this window a bit longer by pulling here at the bottom. In addition, you may notice that it's look a bit like Spotlight, right? And that's exactly what happened. So if you head to Spotlight instead of the apps, you will get this default view, but there's also a little app icon. If you click on that, you will see the very same app launcher. So now the app launcher is integrated into your Spotlight. We can type the name of the app or search from the list here. And in addition, if you link your iPhone to your computer, you can enable those apps and they'll be visible here as well for you. Let me show you how easy it is to customize folder color in new macOS 26. This was always a pain in the older versions and now, now just simply right click on the folder and you will see dedicated customize folder button. Click on that and from here we can now change the color straight away. Oh, such a relief. It was such a pain. And more than that, we can now also add a little emoji on it if you like. So we can, let's say, tap here. This one is just team folder. We got two people on it. So we got emoji, little picture. Unfortunately, not a search bar. We need to kind of scroll around and search for the right image. But that's such an improvement comparing to the previous version. Keep in mind, when you're tagging the folder with the color, you can add multiple colors. So this folder now it's in both tags, blue and red, but it will show the red color at the top as the last tag we choose. All right, so simply keep that in mind. If you don't use tags at all, you just can use this as your cosmetics. We can just use those tags as color folder folder. And that's it. Then you can click out of it. And now this folder one is tagged with green color, so the folder is green and we also add emoji to it. Let's do the similar thing to folder number two. So again, right click on the folder and you can see customize folder, but you can also see the color tags on it. So what will happen if I just click orange? The folder turned orange straight away. All right. So it's like the tag, color tag that was here for a really long time, but now it's actually changing the color of the folder after so many years. So that's nice. Okay, and then folder three, let's go to the full menu again, right click, secondary click, customize, let's add a tag, or maybe you wanna create a brand new tag here. You can import, export, and modify tags as well. All right, and again, we can actually use little icons on our folders. So here's the birthday cake and purple color. And you can even click here, emojis, to explore all of the emojis available and in that case you will stick emoji on the top of your folder like that all right so that's how you can customize your folders with colors icons or even emojis in the new mac os 26. if you cannot see this option to customize your folder maybe you are still in the older version of the system okay so be sure you're updated to mac os 26. MacOS 26 Spotlight feature is a brand new experience. We can toggle that with a classic shortcut on your keyboard, F4. Or you can head to the top right when you can actually see the Spotlight icon. And as you can see in this welcome screen, we got a certain categories that you can tap into now using shortcuts, but you don't need to remember them. You can simply see icons here on the right. So we got, we can search as the general search or we can specify that we wanna search and open a certain app in the system. 
we can go back, I will press escape, we can search for certain file in the system or certain file extensions like all PDFs. That's nothing new. The third one is really interesting. We can tell the computer from the spotlight search to do certain action. All right, so we can send a message, set up timer, create a brand new node from the spotlight here. As you can see, they give us the formula how to use that. We can just type create node with and then type in node and even specify the folder. And the last icon here in the spotlight is clipboard. So we can use what is currently copied to the clipboard, but before we can use that, we need to enable this function. So click the blue button enable. And from now on, the spotlight will be able to check what you currently hold there. When you copy some text, copy some files, it will be here and will be able to do some operation from the spotlight, just from typing commands. All right, so this is like you communicate with a computer using human language. A number of commands, a triple. So now it's actually useful, not just for searching, but also for commanding certain actions. Add event, and I can see the first thing, add event to the calendar. I can double tap and I can describe everything here without even opening the calendar app. So add event, test for, let's say, August 8, and I hit enter to run the command. And we can now double check this in the calendar. And here it is. And this way the event was added to my calendar straight from the spotlight. So please don't ignore the spotlight. It's really powerful in new Mac OS 26. Remember, you can click on the spotlight icon here, but the fastest way is to simply press F4 on your keyboard. On MacBook, you will see this actually spotlight icon on F4. And from here, you can not only search for apps and files, but you can give commands to the computer to do stuff for you. Let me show you how we can delete apps in macOS 26. Head to Finder, then select Applications from your favorites. You will see all of your apps right here. You can right click on the app you want to delete, secondary click and move to trash, or you can just drag it to trash yourself. So drag it. They may ask you for the admin password or fingerprint. And if you want to be sure that it's completely deleted and the storage is already free up, you can also empty your bin. Right click, empty trash. And that's how easy it is to delete apps on the new macOS. How can we modify our control center in new macOS 26? Simply head to the top right, just next to the date, next to the time, there's a control center icon. Click on that and from here you will see your basic controls like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but you can also click the edit button at, over here. And with this you will jump into the editing mode when you can just drag and drop additional controls. So take a look, I can now scroll down here and grab this battery control for low power mode. I can click plus and I can add this to my control center. I can freely move it around. I can even move it up and my controls will be reordered this way. If you use, for example, a timer often, you can drag it in to your control center as well. So take a look, there are so many interesting control options here. like fast user switching, home control, keyboard brightness, that's maybe the additional one we can drag in here. And we got one more slider. All right, and after we have finished editing that, you can click done. And now, now we can use those controls. And if you are not happy with those, you can edit once more. And now we can click minus to delete certain control options here. Okay, so let's say you don't wanna use the stopwatch anymore, you click minus and it's gone. And as you can guess, you can also reorder some things. All right, so that's how you do it. 
If you right click on it, you can even decide how big this control will be. That's the medium size. And as you can guess, we can also get the large size like that. How can we install a brand new font on macOS 26? First, we need to get a font file. So here I am on dafont.com and I'm going to download this free font. All right, I got this zip. I need to click on it to open. And inside that zip, I can see a font file format. Double click on that and you will see the font preview. In the back, you will see all of the fonts on your system. And then we've got this floating window with the preview of the brand new font. You can skip it or you can decide to install the new font. So click install. And here it is. Now the font is available in all of the programs on my system. I just need to search for this name and the font will appear. That's how easy it is to install brand new font on your macOS. Let me show you how you can access your clipboard on new macOS 26. We will need to trigger Spotlight search bar first. There are different ways of doing that. You can click the Spotlight icon in the top menu. Here it is. Or you can press just F4 on your keyboard on your Mac or the combination of Command and Spacebar. After Spotlight is on, do not type anything just yet. Just press Command 4 and you will jump into Clipboard where you can see your copy results from uh, recent copies. And you can also recopy them by clicking this little icon. You can right click on them to paste, copy or delete the item. So I can delete one item from this result or I can delete all of them. If I click those three dots here, I can clear the history as well. If you don't want to use any shortcuts, you can also notice in the new version of OS, they add dedicated icons for different searches. So the very last one here on the list, that's the clipboard. So click on the last icon where, when the spotlight is already active and here we are. All right. So all you need is a spotlight and then click the last icon here on the right for a clipboard searches where you can recopy them or delete them. How to generate images in new macOS 26. Head to your apps. That's the icon next to your finder. Click on it and from here we can scroll manually and search for the image playground or simply you can type it at the very top here. If you scroll, you may see this icon, image playground, it's got the Apple Intelligence logo on it as well. So just click on that to open. If you've been using this before, you will be able to see your previous creations here. Click new image at the top right corner. And here it is, as you may notice, the in interface is a bit different than in the previous macOS. Now we got the style indicator at the very top of it. And take a look, there's more than two styles, so that's a great improvement. In the past, we got animation illustration. They also add a better sketch later on, but now we got also gen emoji and chat GPT as well. If you click on that, you will have this information popping up about you kind of using outside AI model, not the Apple intelligence. That's obvious from the name. And you will need to kind of agree with the terms here and turn it on. And after you do that, take a look, we unlocked six more styles. So that's a great addition to this image playground. So now we got multiple different styles. We are not stuck with only two styles like in the previous version. All right, so let's head with anime style. All right, and now it's time to type prompts. And as you may notice, the icon hit change from the classic Apple Intelligent. Now we're using chat GPD. After you type the prompt, it will float around the generated image. And here it is. You got only one version versus like we normally got three or four versions straight away from Apple Intelligence and it's a bit slower. So Let's move back to a regular Apple Intelligence styles. Let's move back to this animation style. And now, now we are in this Apple ecosystem again, and we can use the choose person option as well. So we can set up the appearance of the person 
before it's generated, right? So we can set up the skin color, we can set up the age and gender here based on those examples. So one is one prompt is the appearance we choose from the list, another one is the one we type in. And remember, in the image playground, you can actually typing additional prompts without deleting the first one. So you can have multiple like tags floating around. So I just type at night and that's changed my image. Now we got a night forest. You can keep scrolling right until you see the image you are happy with. And of course you can keep modifying prompts. You can change the style and all of that stuff. If you don't need the prompt anymore, you can also delete that by clicking the minus at the tag here. And we are back to the previous setup. Let's change the style to illustration. And as you can see, it's a bit different now. All right. If you are happy with your result, you can save it. Right click on it to copy, share or save. There's also a share button at the top, right? when you can have some classic Apple options like AirDrop. We can go back to the gallery and we can see our previous creations as well. And if you don't want this to show here, you can always delete that. We need to confirm and that's it. That one is gone. All right, so that's how you can generate images in new macOS 26. It's the same app like in previous system called Image Playground, but this time it's a bit more powerful how we can quickly check our Apple computer details on new macOS 26. In the similar way, we just head to Apple logo at the top left corner and the very first option about this Mac. You got this preview window when you can see the name of your Mac, the model, chip, RAM, serial number and the macOS version. If you need to know more, you can always click this button here more info. This will take you straight to settings general and some of the information is repeated here but then you can also see your display information so how big is your screen, what's the resolution and also your storage or hard drive. You can also go into the full system report from here. How can we change size and color of pointer of macOS cursor in new macOS 26? Simply turn on your system settings. By default, you will get this icon here in your dock. After that, head to accessibility. That's just the next option after general. Here we are. And now it's not about mouse, it's actually about display. So click on display. And from here, you will be able to change the size of the pointer. Take a look from normal to large and everything in between. We can also modify the outline color. That's this white color around. So we can make it, let's say, yellow like that. And it's already change and the pointer fill so we can make this color in but keep in mind by default it's black so you cannot see colors really you will need to first reduce that so we can move between different colors i will stick with the black though all right and this way we can modify the size outline color and the fill color of your pointer in new macOS. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.